So, Death Stranding, what exactly is it? Well, that's a question that nobody can fully answer quite yet. Some people like myself love chipping away at the mystery that is this enigma, while others would like something more tangible to grasp by now. We did finally see the game in action at E3 2018, though what was shown was a small teaser at best. The new trailer featured Norman Reedus' character, Sam Porter Bridges, traversing these beautiful landscapes, seemingly transporting and delivering packages ranging from boxes to corpses, whose purpose are yet unknown. It's certainly not the deep dive that Sean Layden said it would be, but it has tugged at people's intrigue and curiosity. Now, I've seen some people express concerns that this game will simply end up being some kind of walking simulator, but knowing Kojima, I am confident in saying that there will be much more to gameplay than meets the eye here. I mean, have you seen all the crazy shit in previous trailers? Does this really strike you as a game that's just about moving boxes? Until the game launches though, or until Kojima decides to reveal more information down the line, I guess all we can do for now is contemplate. There are however a select few within the gaming industry who are positioned to have seen the secretive game in action, or even gotten their hands on an in-progress version of it. Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO Sean Layden said all the way back in June 2017 that the game is playable and that he's actually played some of it. Later that year on December 2017, PS4 architect Mark Cerny said that he has played about four to five hours of the game and that the story and imagery presented throughout the game's trailers start to make sense after getting that far. Now, it would seem as though there are also those outside of Sony and Kojima Productions' inner circle who have been invited to check out the game for a bit, if Alana Pierce from IGN is to be believed. As part of the most recent episode of IGN's Beyond podcast, episode 548 to be exact, she and a few other members of the outlet engaged in conversation about Death Stranding, sharing their own theories about the mysterious title. At one point, Alana decided to share some insider knowledge that she's been holding onto for some time, the information of which involves impressions that a prolific developer confided in her regarding what they played of Death Stranding. Here's what Alana had to share on the matter. Yeah, I, I so there are a few devs who've played it. Um, I'm really just going all out this week. I'm just like, <laughs> so things I've heard. Uh, one of them told me they didn't like it. Okay. Yeah. That's Very, fair. Like a prolific dev in the industry was like, thought it was real weird and wasn't really a fan. It was like, interesting. Miyamoto? Yeah, it was, was Miyamoto. It? Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's... Miyamoto and yeah. I had a good chat about it. Just so we're clear, she was totally joking about the Miyamoto part. It goes without saying that she's actually not at liberty to share who the prolific developer who confided in her was. But whoever they are, they apparently play the game, didn't really like it, thought it was really weird, and they weren't really a fan, even if they found aspects of it interesting. Now, before you freak out and take away from this that Death Stranding's gonna suck, it's just one person's impressions. Frankly speaking, from the moment I saw the first Death Stranding trailer, I knew that this wouldn't be the type of game that may necessarily appeal to everyone. It is weird, it is all kinds of mind-boggling, and I can totally see why not everyone would be into something like this. But that doesn't mean that there won't be plenty of other people who may end up loving whatever this game turns out to be. I should also make it a point that Alana didn't disclose exactly how long this developer played the game for, which is an important factor given something I was told about Death Stranding at E3 2018 by someone involved with the project. I was told in vague terms that Death Stranding is a game that starts out as something small and somewhat traditional, and then from there keeps changing, growing, and evolving as you keep playing. With most games, you can play for a couple minutes or watch a presentation and get a general idea of what it will pretty much be like and how it will play from beginning to end. Like, if you look at a game like Last of Us Part Two, you pretty much know exactly what the gameplay loop is going to be like. Obviously, narrative developments and gameplay progression will ensure that the experience stays fresh and dynamic and exciting from beginning to end. But we know the vertical slice we have seen of Last of Us Part Two is pretty much how the game will play and feel throughout the whole thing. But this won't be the case with Death Stranding based on what I was told. Apparently, due to the ever-expanding and ever-evolving nature of Kojima's new game, you won't really experience its full breadth, depth, and scope until you've really sat down and spent intimate hours with it. Based on that vague information, I can only assume that the first few hours of Death Stranding might be quite different from what you might experience in the middle hours, which might be quite different from the final hours. Kojima actually hinted as much when he said in an interview that 
Death Stranding will start out like a pretty traditional third-person shooter action game, but after a couple hours in, there will be a shift that will begin to unravel the game's true nature and reveal its unique elements. Look, I'm not trying to downplay the fact that the prolific developer Alana talked to didn't like what he played, and I actually appreciate that Alana didn't try to sugarcoat the information she was given. All I'm saying is that Death Stranding doesn't sound like the kind of game you can just play for a bit and go, okay, I get the gist of it. So don't make one quick impression the basis by which you set your expectations for a game we still don't know much about. I would wait until a wide variety of people and news outlets have had a chance to get some extensive hands-on time with Death Stranding and properly report back until we hear multiple impressions and perspectives, especially given that the game is seemingly ever-expanding and ever-evolving, that its point and message will likely not fully come across until the credits roll. So yeah, there you go folks, that's it for this news update and discussion video. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.